everyone, so for today's video I just wanted to show you guys what I eat as a vegetarian because I get a lot of asks on Tumblr and they're like, oh well I only eat meat, what do you even eat though? Like, you can't really eat anything if you're a vegetarian and so I'm like, well you can actually eat a lot of food as a vegetarian so I just wanted to show you guys what kind of stuff I eat and just, yeah. So when I'm on the go and stuff, I like to eat a lot of macaroni. I really like just any kind of macaroni, any kind of like box noodles that comes with cheese or that kind of stuff. I really like that. A lot of Top Ramen has like chicken or beef or pork flavor, so I just get the oriental flavor. And I really like it because it's just like, this doesn't have any meat in it, it still tastes really good, it's still super cheap so you don't have to buy like the expensive vegan brands of Tom Ramen because sometimes those can be like five dollars for one package and you're like um I actually only want to spend like two cents on Tom Ramen so you can just get the oriental version. I also really like cooking noodles and just putting like pasta sauce on them. My favorite is marinara sauce I and mean, this is like the Newman's own brand but you can add like alfredo sauce and usually I'll add corn and at the Asian market that I go to they sell bamboo shoots and I really like putting bamboo shoots in them. So. A lot of people don't really know about meat substitutes that are out there, and I didn't really know about these when I first became vegetarian, and I was like, oh my god, I wish like, I could eat chicken nuggets. Well, you can. These are vegetarian. They're not vegan because they have eggs in them for some reason, but um, they're just the Morningstar chicken nuggets, and I really like dipping them in like honey mustard or barbecue sauce. And super good i really like him so if you guys really like meat but you want to be vegetarian then there's all these meat substitutes and you kind of have to like choose different brands and then kind of test them out because i know that some meat substitutes make me feel really sick because if it's too similar to meat then my body's like mm, what the heck or if it's just too disgusting then your body will be like with veggie burgers i had to try out a bunch of different ones because some of them are so good like Trader Joe's has this like potato veggie burger and it's like the best thing ever but then there's another brand that I don't know what brand it is but it literally tastes like just dried vomit basically and so yeah it was pretty gross. Definitely better than eating meat though like with meat you don't even know where that's coming from like with these veggie burgers it's just vegetables and good stuff there's no deaths involved like 10 out of 10. But the Gardein brand is one of my favorite brands and especially around Thanksgiving. I haven't actually had a Thanksgiving as a vegetarian yet, but I'm kind of excited because they come out with this like fake meat turkey thing and it's actually vegan and they put like kind of vegetable stuff in the middle and then it's just like a fake meat turkey so you don't have to feel all left out that you're not eating a turkey. But these are beefless sliders and they're really cute. They like come like already in the sandwich form when you open them and I really like them because they're not real meat but they still taste really good and I think they might actually be vegan. I think a lot of the Guardian stuff is vegan so if you are vegan then probably good. These are just the Morningstar like riblets and these are actually vegan. I think it's one of the only Morningstar things that's vegan but it says like right there vegan. And so these are super good. I like to put them with just some rice without any flavor in it. And then it just brings out the flavor. It's like barbecue rice and it's so good. It's super easy to prepare these. You just put them in the microwave for like a couple minutes and then you pour them out onto your food. And it's really good. I really like them. These are also really good. It's the Gardein crispy chicken, like orange chicken. And they're super good. You just bake them in the oven. And the sauce I don't really like too much, so I just use my own sweet and sour sauce and it tastes really good. And I just put that usually over rice or noodles. If you mix it with noodles, it's also really good. But I really like this. It's super good. Uh, these are basically my favorite thing ever, mostly because they're super cheap. And even though this brand mostly has like, ooh, beef pizza, ooh, like pork and mixed. They also have uh, cheese and three cheese, so yeah, just this brand. Super good. So I usually just get this giant Costco thing of noodles and then usually that lasts me for like a really long time because you can't eat all of these at once. Well, maybe you can, but so yeah, it's just really good. Just don't get the ones that have like meat in them. Kind of a fun snack that I really like are mozzarella sticks and these are just like the Winco brand of mozzarella sticks because they're like a dollar. If you get regular brands, they're usually pretty expensive, so. Look for the cheap stuff. I love ice cream. So, um, I think a lot of you guys think that I'm like a healthy vegetarian. Um, I eat a lot of 
ice cream sometimes, so... These pot stickers are literally the best thing ever. They come from Trader Joe's and they, I think they might be vegan. And they just have like, literally vegetables in them, but they're so good. You can put like soy sauce on them. You can even put them in soup. I usually like to make soup with ramen eggs and then these things, and it just makes ramen like less boring. Cause if you guys have ever just eaten plain ramen, it's usually pretty lame and you're like, oh, I kinda need some more excitement in this. I really like getting beef. Not beef. I really like getting bean and cheese burritos just kind of in bulk, like a lot of them, because they're really easy for like lunch or like a snack or something, and you don't have to like make a burrito, like you just have one. It's like so good. Don't get the beef and cheese. Of course, if you make smoothies, you want some like fruit. I really like getting just bag fruit because then it's frozen. If you make smoothies and then you just put regular bananas in them, then you put some frozen fruit and some water and stuff, then the smoothie will be cold but not completely frozen. So remember where my tumbler is like, so I only eat beef. I really like the vegetarian kind of a bush's beans and you could just cook them like on the stove for probably like 10 minutes so that you kill the germs and stuff. These taste exactly like the bacon kind that I used to eat when I wasn't vegetarian, so I don't know why people aren't getting the vegetarian kind. For breakfast, I eat a lot of cereal and oatmeal just because it's super easy to make and usually I don't have a lot of time to eat in the morning, so you don't always have to eat bacon for breakfast, you can eat cereal and some other fun stuff. So yeah, that's basically all the stuff that I eat as a vegetarian. Thank you guys so much for watching and please thumbs up the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to see more videos. Follow me on Snapchat and Instagram for more updates on my life. Bye everyone!